Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I make the sugar scrubs that I actually sell to my customers. I'm gonna show you how I thicken them and walk you through the entire process. So if that is something that you're interested in, keep watching. I know what you're thinking, Jerrica, what is on your face? Those glasses, where did you get them from? I'm gonna go into a quick segue about how I got these glasses for those of you that are interested, but if you're not, I have chapters down below, so go ahead and skip that if you want to. Oh my god, they are here. I just got new glasses sent to me by my favorite glasses provider, Zenf Optical, and I wanted to show you my new frames. For those of you who have watched me for a while, you guys know that these glasses are also from Zenf Optical, and these are the Reyes, and I have been loving them. I've been using them now for almost a year, and they're still fantastic, fantastic glasses. But when Zip Optical reached out to me and asked me if I wanted another pair, I jumped at the chance for something a little bit different. Let me show you what I got. Kale also got a pair too, and I will insert him opening his glasses at the end of the segment, but the glasses come in a box like this. Let me see which one this one is. So here is one of the glasses, and let me take a peek. Okay, I think this one's mine. Comes with a cute little Thank you for your purchase card. And here are the glasses. So as you guys can see, the Reyes are black with a little bit of a gold tip at the end, which I think is really cool. And I love the geometric shape. So I wanted these glasses to also have that interesting touch. I like that it's wrapped up in the cloth that you can use to clean the glasses. And here they are. Wow, aren't they gorgeous? Okay, so I'm gonna try them on. Rays are coming off, and these ones are going on. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I love them. So here are my new glasses, and I think that they look so beautiful. I really like how light the frames are because I think it brightens up my face, and they are super comfortable to wear. It feels like there's really nothing on my face right now, and I love that I can see, and I love how big they are, and I like the geometric element to the frames, and they're not just your regular circular um, glasses. And the color of these glasses are clear. They look kind of pink, but I like them a lot. So Kale's home and he's going to check out his glasses and what he chose were prescription sunglasses. I've been more and more reliant on my actual prescription glasses and now I just can't not wear them. But <laughs> when it's sunny out, like it is here in Alberta, it's uh, I need some sunglasses. Oh, that looks really cool. Nice. I like the frames. Let's see how you look. Oh, <laughs> Kale, you wow. look really good. Is it prescription? I like the tint on these. Definitely prescription. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna flip the screen up so you can see yourself, okay? okay. Ready? Oh. How do you like it? I like them. You look I really like good. Em. They're kind of, they're more aviators than I thought they were. Ooh, I thought they were gonna be more like wayfarers, but they're kind of a mix between the two. Yeah. So. I think you look really handsome. They yeah. suit you really well. They sit well on my face. <laughs> So that's the cool thing about Zimp. It's not just about prescription glasses. You can also get prescription sunglasses. And a lot of the styles that are available on the website, you can choose as a sunglass style. You're a fan? I'm a fan of these, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, they fit really well on the bridge of my nose. I like them a lot. If you guys are interested in Zimp Optical, I have a link to them below and also a link to both of my frames in the description box and also to what Kale got. And let me know in the comments which ones you guys prefer, these ones or my old glasses. <laughs> so that is it about the glasses. Let's go right into making the sugar scrubs. So for the scrub, we're going to have four groups of ingredients, starting with our water and water soluble ingredients. I use distilled water for all of my product making and to that distilled water, I'm adding sodium lactate. Sodium lactate is a humectant that moisturizes skin, which is important in a foaming scrub that uses surfactants. In a separate container, I'm measuring out my glycerin. Like sodium lactate, it helps with moisture, but I like to use glycerin as a vessel for the xanthan gum that I'm going to be using to thicken my product. Xanthan gum is really the key thickener of the scrub, so if you don't want the scrub this thick, start with taking out the xanthan gum. I like to add the xanthan gum to glycerin first because it suspends the xanthan gum. If you try to add the xanthan gum to water right away, it turns into a globby mess. Unless you have one of those industrial lotion stirrer things, 
The glycerin keeps the xanthan gum separated long enough for it to bind with the water without globbing up. So I add this glycerin xanthan gum mix to the water and stir until everything looks completely uniform. You'll start to notice the xanthan gum thickening the water up nicely. And that's our first set of ingredients. Set this aside and we'll start our next group going. This group of ingredients will be our surfactants, basically the ingredients that make our scrub foam. The first surfactant is cocamidopropyl betaine. I love the surfactant, it's mild, works well with a lot of other surfactants, and it makes really nice bubbles and products. And up next is BSB liquid surfactant. This is another thickener of our scrub, so if you want to tone down the thickness, don't use BSB liquid surfactant and just use cocamidopropyl betaine in addition to the next surfactant, which is sodium cocal isothionate or SCI powder. When using SCI powder, please use a respirator that will protect your lungs because without one, you're going to sneeze and irritate your sinuses. Look at all those fine particles flying up into the air. You do not want to be breathing that in. I stir until I get everything all incorporated. I use a spatula here because I don't want to kick up more SCI into the air than I have to. And after a while, it starts to look like marshmallow spread. Once it gets like that, then you can set this aside too and start on our next group of ingredients. And this group includes our emulsifiers and the butter and the oil. First up will be Polo Wax, which is a very reliable emulsifier. Emulsifiers not only help bind the oils and butters to the waters in, in our scrub, but it also adds to the moisturizing effect of the scrub in the shower when you go to rinse off the scrub. Stearic acid is a great ingredient to add body to the scrub and help prevent deflation. Stearic also helps to stabilize the emulsion and keep everything from separating over time. For added moisture, we're using hemp seed oil, which you guys know I love, but you can sub this out for any other light oil that you want. Some good substitutes that come to mind are avocado oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, any one of those will work. And for extra moisture, we're using cocoa butter that also gives body and thickness to the scrub. And that's three of the four groups of ingredients. These guys need to heat up and melt down over a water bath before we can combine them. You'll know they're ready when the emulsifiers and butter are completely melted and the consistency is clear. So once they're ready, then you can start combining. First, I combine my water ingredients into the emulsifiers and oils. For this, I use a stick blender to mix them, but you can see that the xanthan gum has started to glob up a bit, making it a little difficult. Stick with it and keep blending, and once it looks like goopy mashed potatoes, then you can add the surfactants. I use a spatula from here to mix everything in to prevent bubbles and air from forming. This scrub base is still too hot to add my next group of ingredients, which are heat sensitive, so I set this aside to cool down to below 122 degrees Fahrenheit. While it's cooling down, I like to prepare my last group of ingredients, which are my fragrance oils and preservative. The preservative I'm using today is Liquid Dermal Plus. You'll want to use a preservative to keep your scrubs fresh and safe to use for as long as possible. For fragrance, I'll be combining a few fragrances to make a unique blend, starting with Sun Showers by Fizzberry, which is a sweet and citrusy scent that really brightens up any product I put it in. To this, I'm adding Ruby Grapefruit by Windy Point Soap Supplies, which is a wonderful, true grapefruit scent. And I set this aside until my scrub base is cool enough. This is the consistency of the scrub so far. Before I add my fragrance and preservative, I like to add my sugar first and get everything mixed. I transfer the base to my KitchenAid mixing bowl and set it on a scale. The sugar I'm using is a white granulated sugar that doesn't feel too harsh on the skin. I pour that in and once I have the right amount, I get the mixer going. You'll probably want a mixer for this scrub as it's super thick and mixing it by hand would be very, very exhausting. <laughs> Before I add color, I add my fragrance and preservative to the mixing bowl first and start the mixer again to incorporate everything. To color the scrub, I'm using a combo of two micas. First is Shimmery Gold Mica by Fizzberry and the next is Racing Stripe Orange by Brambleberry. When coloring your scrub, start light and add more if you want a darker color. 
Note that the scrubs can darken over time if you use mica to color it, so I suggest ending with a shade or two lighter than what you're aiming for. So this is the scrub. See how viscous it is? I love it. The worst part though is scraping off all the scrub off of the whisk attachment. It's kind of a workout holding this whisk up with all that heavy scrub sticking to it and having to scrape it off of all of the wire pieces with my spatula. But once you get it all off, you can truly appreciate the fun, thick texture of this scrub. It's so tempting to play with it, as you can see I'm doing here. So here is the consistency, and you can see it is quite thick. It is such a beautiful consistency. It's almost like, I don't know, it's hard to say, like marshmallows. It's kind of like a marshmallow taffy type of consistency. I have tested this consistency and it dissolves perfectly when you use it, which I'll show you a demo of. So now all I have to do is to jar it. And to jar it, we're using these straight sided glass jars from Uline. I love these jars. The scrub actually looks a lot like ice cream. That's what it reminds me of. Kale, come here and look at the scrub and tell me what you think the consistency is like. Yeah, that looks nice and viscous. Mm -hmm. I like, you know me, my preference is a coarse sugar scrub. So. Yeah, it's quite coarse too. That's what I also prefer in a sugar scrub. So that's why I don't really like liquidy scrubs. I, I like them kind of thick and tacky like this. Yep, yep, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for your, your feedback. You're welcome. <laughs> I want to touch it myself. Okay. I'm well, not wearing gloves, so we'll I will show the I'm demo not going later. To be surprised. Okay. <laughs> so to get this into here, I just like to scoop it. I know that people like to pipe it, but I don't know. For me, I'm a scooper. And when it's thick like this, it's really the best way to get them in there. You can also pipe it. That might be faster. But then you have to wash the piping tips. <laughs> but yeah, just one glob at a time gets it in the jar. It's quite thick, so you're gonna have to tap it to get it down. Get it down all the way into all those crevices. I'll let you know how much of the scrub I get into the jar. I normally am able to fit, these are eight ounce jars and I'm normally able to fit about eight ounces of product because these aren't too whipped. They're viscous and fluffy because of the surfactant and also the xanthan, xanthan gum. It's not too much air that's been whipped into it. And that's good because these are going, a bunch of these are going to my wholesale customer in North Carolina and sometimes they arrive a little deflated and that's why we've had to tweak the recipe a little bit to prevent that. Looks like we're gonna get about eight ounces into this jar. And here is eight ounces of product in this jar. It's more like 8.5 actually. And it smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna jar the rest of this and I will come back. So here we are at our sink in our basement and we have a lot of residue on this. So we're gonna use this as our demo. Let me just wet my hands a little bit. Oh, and I have Kale here too, cause he really likes the sugar scrubs and he loves to test out this product. So what I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna grab some. That's good for now. I'm gonna go first, is that okay, Kale? Okay. So this is the consistency of the sugar scrub. And now if I add a little water, and I just rub a little bit. You get that nice creamy foaming action. How's it feel? Oh, it feels so nice. You're not going to get an explosion of bubbles with sugar scrubs, especially emulsified ones, but you will get that nice soap feel. What do you think? Yeah, it feels nice. You like the exfoliation? Yeah, I do. Feels good on the hands. It's nice and smooth. I really don't like when you have a scrub in it. The majority of it, when you scoop it out, falls down the drain. <laughs> I like what, if it sticks to your skin a little bit. Yeah, you're right. And I also really like scrubs that 
that lather nicely. So I'm getting a little bit of lather action there. Wow. Yeah, and if you work it between your hands, you get more lather on top of that. The key to um, sugar scrubs that are foaming but not drying is are those oils and butters that you add later on and also the sodium lactate helps with that too. And they rinse cleanly, which is the best part of an emulsified sugar scrub. <laughs> Thumbs up, 10 out of 10. No kale faces, 10. <laughs> Do you want, to want people to see you? I got out of the shower and I shampooed my hair. <laughs> okay. So that is how I make my sugar scrubs. If you like this kind of video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like your sugar scrubs thicker? Do you like it a bit thinner? Do you like them foamy, not foamy? Let me know. And once again, information on my glasses and information on some of the supplies that I use, that is all in my description box down below. But if you wanna know exactly how to make this sugar scrub, I have the entire recipe with steps on my Patreon. And that is also in my description box. And speaking of my Patreon, thank you to my amazing patrons. I honestly have the best patrons in the whole wide world. They are so kind and so generous, especially my bubble BFFs right here. You guys are absolutely amazing and sweet. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart because I would not be able to do what I do without you guys. So thank you. And that is it until the next video. Keep smiling, keep being awesome, and keep making beautiful, wonderful, amazing things like grapefruit sugar scrubs. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I just love my new glasses. Love them. <laughs>